Hi, how are you? This is Navarun and in this tutorial we are going to learn the um, how to get the passes from Maya like diffuse, ambient occlusion and other and this is the render since I have a very simple geometry and the light only casting depth map shadow and uh, we have three objects in front, middle and far and we are going to create uh, render layers first click on the render and uh, select uh, how do we need to do we need to select all the objects in our scene uh, by dragging uh, all over the geometry uh, including light then cl click on the ball icon to create uh, layers uh, multiple layers as you might need like ambient de depth of field diffuse shadow etc so we will uh, we can uh, actually rename it and uh, what we will do we will double click on the layer and uh, we will input the layer name like uh, diffuse and then shadow ambient occlusion jet depth matte if you need uh, reflection refraction any kind of uh, layer just uh, need to create so uh, what I'm doing to uh, going to do uh, we are ambient this is the third layer ambient and after that uh, we will create the J depth uh, layer for the depth of field uh, view uh, it is needed to get some realism so it is a J depth uh, layer and after that uh, we can uh, select the layer and right click on it and we can actually do it from also rendering menu and window uh, attribute editor but uh, in this case uh, none no other layer is selected so what we will do we will right click on the layer like diffuse and choose attribute and on the attribute we will left click on the preset and uh, like uh, we have just set a diffuse so we need to select the diffuse and likewise for the shadow right click on the shadow layer and uh, just select the attributes and uh, select and uh, from from here you can actually select the preset left click and shadow you can uh, just go back to the linear render layers ambient occlusion presets and for the occlusion it, this is going to be occlusion and then uh, it, it will appear black but it is default and for the last there is a jet depth we will click on the luminance depth or jet depth in max it is called jet depth and my it is luminance depth the function is the same it uh, creates an illusion like theme like a realistic to get the realistic thing so what we need to do we need to just um, export um, sorry we need to just uh, render, set up the renderer and uh, Maya actually creates a render layers render manager on its own it is a very default and yet it is powerful and like uh, click on the shadow and you, it, it, it will use the render layer for the Maya software and, and occlusion Maya mental ray so uh, we will uh, input uh, layer name right like the render layer right click on the uh, render layer and right clicking on the render layer yeah choose la render layer so it will uh, now you can get the uh, render layer name by doing this and uh, after that uh, what you need to do we need to just uh, uh, we need to just render all the layers it is very automatic process automated process should I say and uh, it will uh, go for the images folder where, where is your uh, image file uh, is actually so production quality it is fine nice just uh, hit render and batch render my will render all the scene uh, to your default directory uh, the rendering is happening at zero of one frame and now the ambient occlusion is rendering so I'm just pausing the video and waiting for the render. now it is finished and I will open the sequence sorry open the images 
for the diffuse uh, it is a uh, very flat there is no shadow or reflection yes but the reflection is not there I have not uh, inputted any reflection and you can see the ambient occlusion you can see shadow or jet depth as you wish uh, yes the jet depth is a, a it is a jet depth and open image for the shadow layer it will not appear just click on the white and you will get this shadow for the like this portion and uh, now in the second part of what we are going to do we are going to just uh, set up the composition and in Maya 2010 you will also get the same features 